never really had love before I just want to make you so in continuation of what we were talking about in the last video I just want to show you um, how um, this can really really work for you so you could see right now I just um, flip the finger the other way around so when I take this back you can see how the hand is moving and he's raising his hand up while walking at the same time so you can see this is um, a very cool way but if you do a normal rig you really can't do this except you um, recreate it like this or um, you know use a different uh, all the different methods I explained to you to um, recreate it and I'm sure there are still other type of method to use to create this but in between you also want to make sure that your animation is really really crisp and smooth in between so you always try to um, such type of edges you pay attention to details and clean them out all right and um, what I did here to flip the hand is I'll just control Z to undo that real quick so I will show you um, what I did exactly control shift Z so we get back to uh, normal so in the last video this is what we had right so in the last video this is what we had right so this is what I showed you in the last video isn't it so now imagine that his hand now needs to open and, um, and do a wave isn't it so um, all you will do is you come into your finger here this particular finger at frame 48 where it turned we now flip it either you flip it with um, your layer tool or you flip it with your uh, draw tools here so I'll just take my trans uh, transform tool here and just when I click it this uh, section appears so I'll come to flip vertically so I flip it vertically you can see how it turned then I'll shift it to of the point where it's supposed to uh, be all right so when I do this you see the hand turning like this okay and at this point you can see the hand really really flat out right so we could shift that in here also you know just to make it a uh, cool and at this point we have this we have this so when we go back when we look at it without um, that we have something like this and you can now go ahead and uh, animate it to make it look uh, really great you know by animating this um, joint here going to your layer taking your origin tool you put it at this point here like this so that when you rotate um, you rotate I'm rotating just I'm supposed to rotate this sorry Control Z to undo that I'll bring my origin to the finger here then I'll put it here and rotate just the wrist okay like this so I can rotate it with this like this like this and like this so this is what we have as the animation all right okay so I can redo that again because of um, I made I think I made some few mistakes here because I added one um, animation here on the vector which is not supposed to be so let me delete that so I just have only this um, animation from the layer and because I'm using the layer to um, animate it so this is what we have when you are creating the animation so I can also copy this here and paste it over there you know just drag it to make it much more um, wavy so um, this is how you uh, you know create the hand so you can see that the hand is um, on top if we render that out real quickly you can see the hand is in front of um, everything and you know that is how you create your animation and you can clean all this part out because during animation for video most of all this part will be cut out though and depending on what you are showing um, if you have a great editor he'll be able to help you edit properly and you can clean out all these parts also okay you can clean out all those parts to make it really really good all right really really good Bring this here. 
so this is what we have so you can see everything is much more crips right now and and easy to good to look at rather so we have our animation going forward and his hand goes up and down like this so this is how you create your hand moving forward and you can go ahead and create this this hand different um, actions you can go ahead and create different actions for both hands and also even the leg depending on you want to make the character do some amazing kicks and raise his hand to his head or stretch to a specific level and stuff like that or do unusual things this is how you use Moho Studio to create them but most importantly you have to see that this is what you want your character to do on a scene so that the actions will be created for the character while the animator is working and if you are the animator yourself you need to see this thing so that you create them as um, you go forward so lastly the third example i gave in the last video is what i want to show you how to do right now is where you don't have a bone on your character in any way um, I have seen animators using Moho Studio to create animation without using smart bones or even boning the character in any way. So what they do is they will just have a character like this. Let me duplicate this character and show you um, the sample. Um, they will take out all the bones or they will create the character without bones rather. Not like they, they've taken out all the bones. And the character will just be bare. They don't go to animated layer order to do all those stressful stuff you do using smart bones okay so they just have something plain like this and uh, they don't even have a have the character in a bone layer but since it's already in a bone layer it's okay we are not using bones so what they do is that they animate the character live like this so they do the turns they do everything just within the animation which is almost traditional I uh, will give a quick example like what we just did right now you want the character is standing like this and you want the character to um, wave his hand alright so what we'll do is that during animation we would have to let me delete this we'll have to let's say we'll go to frame 1 we'll go to our main character we'll add a keyframe to it alright yes and we'll move a couple of frames so the character needs to move his or her hand upwards right now to do a wave so what we'll just do is go into that hand and you know turn it to the point where we can make it wave isn't it so and what they do is they make sure that all the characters um, parts are separated into different folders that's what would make it easy for you to um, animate because sometimes animating from your um, draw tools could make your um, your vector keep warping uh, all the time if you've noticed but if you're animating from your layer it makes things quick and easy so what I will do is that I will remove this lower arm and the finger I will separate all of them um, to a different uh, folder or vector layer so I'll add a new vector layer and I'll call that lower arm And this is how you do it for all the um, character. This one I'll call it upper arm. So, and you also take notice that this lower, uh, I think this is the left arm. We call it LFT. Then here, this one I'll call it upper left arm also because you have to do the same thing for the right arm. LFT, left arm, upper left arm, upper right arm, right? Then um, I'll copy that lower arm, control X, and I'll paste it on the upper one, on the lower one rather, excuse me, then I'll bring it down. Then here, where I have the finger, all right? I will also bring the finger to that point where I'll call it um, finger left okay so I know that all these are the same thing right so I will now folder this holding shift 
and I'll call it um, hand left so this hand left is what I will do for the right hand also the same thing I'll I can make a copy and just you know reference it all right so but I'll just be using this hand left to explain to you how so many people create uh, animations without using bones in um, Moho studio so they go ahead and on this folder now we'll bring our origin tool to this point so that we can animate our layer hand like this all right then on the upper arm we'll also use our origin tool we'll bring it here then on the lower arm we'll bring our origin to origin points rather sorry we'll put it here and for the wrist we'll bring it here so that we can rotate the wrist like this we can rotate the lower arm like this all right and we can rotate the upper arm separately if we want Control Z so depending on the animation or work you are trying to do you can separate them or join them together whichever way you want okay so what they normally do now is while the character is set like this so they want to raise the the hand up to a certain point what they do is that they come to like frame one here let me delete this because I added it initially they'll come to frame one all right so they'll add a keyframe in the whole animation or you can add it at that point so let me add to the whole animation so we have it there yes and um, we'll come to the arm right now then we'll rotate this lower arm to face the top now I'm rotating with the um, vector tools which I shouldn't I should be rotating with the layer tools because I had that set already so I'll rotate this to the top and this finger also I'll bring it uh, to this point here uh, in control Z since um, I'm doing that at I'll move a couple of frames forward let's say frame um, 6 or 12 let me just pick 12 so I'll rotate the arm forward here like this then the finger also the same thing and uh, I'll just drag it to this point here so this two point now needs to be where above the upper arm so because that's what we want that's what we're gaining for something like what we just uh, did isn't it so for the um, finger I'll now use my layer tool to adjust it uh, up until this point so you can see this is what we have oh I have um, this line turned on so let me go in there turn off the outline and apply and hit OK so when we go into the arm you can see the finger needs to be in front so we'll drag it to the front here so when we render that out this is what we have you see the finger here like this alright and if you look at the animation right now you can see how the hand moves here to here alright so what they do is that this is how they normally create uh, their animations so it moves like this from here to here from here to here so you could see but the way because the hand was rotated this other way so the finger is not actually following the hand properly so but it's something you can always um, solve while creating um, the animation just making sure that the finger follows wherever the hand goes so we we'll have to bring the hand forward over the torso so we could see where this hand is uh, rotating to so we'll just now go to the finger and drag it to this point ctrl z so we need something like this so we're animating it and at this point it gets to this point at this point where is it at oh my god at this point we'll bring it here and at this point it gets here and at this point so we have this curve going on here right around here it should be like this all right so you know I mean they just follow it as simple as uh, this could be so at this point they also it should be around here somewhere all right 
so basically this is one of the one of the ways some people animate their works so let's say at frame 12 they will now flip this um, point here or you can flip it so you now have something like this all right or maybe from here you want your flip to start so you have something like this so you can now animate it saying that the character is waving his or her hand depending on you know how you hope to animate but mostly you can create animations in moho studio without using bones if you have uh, the time to to do all that you need to do so i'll adjust this um, finger here also so you could see we have this is the curve for your anime and this is more like uh, how they create traditional um, 2d animation taking note of your curves and etc so you could see how easy and simple it is so you could see your character is already animated right So that is one way you um, they create their animation and they go ahead to create walk cycles, head turns, left and right, etc. Because while his hand is moving like this, you can now go into the face also. Here, the head. Uh, where's my face? Okay, this is the face. You can go into the face also. You know, from let's say this point at the keyframe. All right then create it create an eye blink maybe you could just shut the mouth here you know create an eye blink here like this then at frame 12 you open up the eyes again you know there may be a bit of the mouth so this you know i mean this is this is everything about animation so what the smart bones help you do is they just help you make life easier because when you put these actions on smart bones you know all you have to do is just tweak a bone and you create your animation so i hope this helps somebody out there okay so and you can go ahead and keep animating if you don't want to use smart bones so these are the ways you can you know animate your um, characters and create um, great animations as you go ahead so please make sure you subscribe because it has been seen that just 20% um, of those that watch my videos are subscribed to my channel come on please I need a hundred percent of you to subscribe so that more people can see the work I'm trying to do and help a lot more people create great and do better um, animations in time and if you really really truly love my work please subscribe and share what i am doing and talk to a family friend brother and sister to do the same follow my page and also please 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 try to purchase my template and courses so that i'll be able to um, pay for light bills and all those other bills i need to always create these animations and let things work please show me your support and let's do great works together see you in the next video I never really had love before I just wanna make you